from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for September 21st, 2017. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the EUR USD, the euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. Starting here on the daily time frame, it's not too hard to point out that this currency pair has been in an uptrend for quite a while now. We're going all the way back to March and April of this year, bottom left-hand corner of the chart, back down into the 105s and 106s. We started the uptrend back in March and April and have been moving up ever since, capping out up here into the mid to upper 1.2000. So clearly, the long-term trend pattern has been an uptrend. We've seen these periods within the uptrend where it goes sideways or consolidation or these little tight ranges. I have the, the blue boxes and the black box at the top representing these areas, the area right here at the bottom, and as it stepped its way up the trend. We're still within that pattern. I don't think that pattern has yet changed up here at the black box within the uptrend, above the uptrend line. We're still within that pattern, and nothing really here has changed for the pattern of the trend. We're still sitting on top of support. Let's go ahead and zoom it in a couple of times here on the daily time frame. And there's a couple of things I want to point out here before we move on to the smaller time frame. First off is the blue box back here, the blue shaded area. Take a look at this area right here, and I'm just going to draw a circle right there. Take a look at that area. That's about a 12 to 14 period day period where the market found support bounce, 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 and then eventually started to turn back higher again. I point that out because it's a very similar situation now. Well, it's not exactly the same because it didn't do it over consecutive days, but you can see the period here, one, two, three, four, five days, and then moved back and made a new up, uh, a new high. You can see this period here, a couple of days settling down here into the orange shaded area and bounced up and made a new high. What's important about that is hey, that's the same place we are right now. We're sitting there right around the same orange shaded area where the market has found historical support before. So what we can see is consistently within the pattern of the uptrend, the market has found support at this orange shaded area, 1.1870, 1.1890. So if that's the case, even if we were going to consider a short or sell opportunity, this is a terrible place to do it until or unless it breaks through that orange shaded area and, of course, the black trend line, the uptrend line from the longer term trend. So we don't want to go short right now, I think, as long as it sits on top of that orange shaded area. Breaking underneath it changes the entire picture and the pattern of the trend. As long as it sits on top of that orange shaded area, I think there may be opportunities for short-term buy scenarios. And really, if the if the market plays out as it did back here and here, that might be a fruitful opportunity as we see it go back to at least the purple zone, if not all the way back up here to the yellow shaded area. Now, all of that would be invalidated and broken if it goes back down here underneath the orange shaded area. So on the other side, let's think about going short first. If you're considering a short opportunity, you know we had the extreme move yesterday after FOMC, the, the US dollar took, took a nice surge, the big red candle there. That's a positive move for the US dollar. If that's going to continue, when do we sell or when do we go short? Well, I've already mentioned under 1.1870 and under the orange zone, which it hasn't done yet, or you'd look for a rally back to the purple zone. Even in this period right here, Let's take a look right here. Let me widen this out. Uh, if you look at that period, one, two, three, four, five days, where was the best place if you were considering going short here? The purple shaded area. Where was the best place right here? Even if you were looking for a low risk, higher, op or higher opportunity to go short, that was the purple zone. So at least if we're going to go short, we need it to be back in the purple or maybe the yellow, but purple zone first, 1.1945, 1980, or under the green, orange zone. And of course, the other side of that story, which we've already spoken about, if we're going to look for an intraday opportunity for the trend to return, the orange shaded area becomes that area. Just like down here at the blue shaded area and the blue circle down here, where we saw it rally to the green zone numbers of times before eventually breaking and moving back higher. Now, we did have, of course, the positive surge for the US dollar. It came to a screeching halt at the orange shaded area. So that's something to consider. Let's go ahead and take it on down to the four hour time frame. Get it zoomed over to our current time. So here it is. Here's the same area that we were just looking at, the orange zone where the market found support here and 
turn around went back higher we can see today finding support here is well into the orange shaded area so again i think if you're looking for the long scenario and again this was a pretty long bearish move here and found support into the orange shaded area if you're looking for that long scenario you're studying the 118.90 118.70 level for support and of course a breakout under there changes the entire picture we look for a change of the trend pattern you're probably looking at these last three highs here and saying hey uh could we consider this head and shoulders pattern maybe but again i would think that it needs to break down 1870 before you consider a short scenario for the euro, euro dollar today from forex traders daily this has been your daily analysis with ross mullins if you would like to get ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below